Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Monster Hunter World. It is finally time to go after Zora Magdaros. This time we know we need to drive it out to sea so that it, it dies and explodes out there, making a new ecosystem. Not in the Everstream, <laughs> which will destroy all life, maybe on the planet? I don't know. It's super bad news. So we got to stop that from happening, and we're going to do that. The handler says, before I left for the new world, I told my father and grandfather, I'm going to write the book on new world cuisine. I'm going to track down and catalog every fruit, nut, and spice there is. Of course, that got a laugh. They nodded and said, yeah, go on and figure out that whole Elder Crossing thing, hey, too. Partner. So when do I get to hear the exciting story of why you're here? Come on, partner, I'm dying to know. Seriously, what is it? Fame, fortune, the glory of the hunt, pirates... Assassins, someone special. Uh, I know, it's food. It's food, right? Just just like you. Uh-huh. You know, not everyone's here just purely to eat. Although, I think most people are. The food here does look delicious. I know now's not the time. But one of these days, we're going to sit down to a big meal and a stiff drink, and you are going to spill the we're beans. All right, you ready to put on some swim trunks? Oh, all right, are you ready to put some swim trunks on this elder dragon, or what? Well, our ballista and cannons are more annoying to Zora Magdros than effective. That's no good. Almost like a noisy swarm of bugs. But the commander says that's exactly what we need. No one wants to deal with a noisy swarm of anything. I'm pretty sure that goes for giant walking volcano monsters, too. All we need to do is present a nice, peaceful, stress-free path for Zora to choose over the noisy, swarmy one. Nothing can stop us. It'll take all of us, but we can do it. We'll be the biggest, most annoying nuisance that lava fondue monster has ever come across. Indeed, we will. And here we go. A colossal task. The operation is set to commence in the Everstream. Do everything you can to force Zora Magdros out to sea. We must not fail. May the Sapphire Star light our way. And you know what? We're going to go solo for this mission. And we're going to use a voucher. Just for the gravitas of the whole thing. I'm going to single-handedly drive Zora Magdaros away. Again. Alright. Let's go over the operation. The subterranean channel Zora Magdaros is using continue deep underground. We'll have one shot to divert it here when it surfaces. If we let it slip by, it's out of our reach forever. That's why I'm breaking out the big guns. This is the Dragonator. We'll use it to drive Zora back and divert it out into the open sea. The target will be coming at us full tilt. So your job is to wear it down and try to keep it in check. Be relentless. Are we clear here? Very good, yes, sir. One more thing. Nergigante is bound to show up to try to make a mess of this. If it gets in our way, it's up to you to stop it. This whole operation rides on how well you do that. We can do this. Scout ahead. <clears throat> Signal us if you spot any trouble. It's coming. Move out! Use everything at your disposal! I want eyes everywhere! Fight hard and stay smart! Hunters, we need to weaken Zora Magdaros enough to capture it! Once you're on its back, give all you've got! Destroy the cores to weaken it! Or try dropping some of those stalactites on it! 
We've rigged the stalactites with gunpowder. Use your slinger to blast them loose. You can see the gunpowder barrels. Do it. Just tied to the stalactites. Yeah, here we go. All right, round two. Round three, if you count the like opening scene where he popped up under our ship and smacked it around a little bit. We're on Zora's ship. Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magdros. The success of the whole operation comes down to how much we manage to weaken the target. Magma core located. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. May as well just stake the core here. I've never done this with a gun lance, so I'm curious to see how all this turns out. Um, mostly the same as the previous time that we were here to fight Zora Magdros, actually. We're gonna take out the cores. Um, maybe a little bit tougher, but not in any, like, meaningful way. Ooh, that was fun. Can we do a, a big, big blasty blast? There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect, 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 perfect. The flow of magma is changing. Yep, magma's gonna change. It's gonna just be doing its thing here. Um, we got a scale. That's good. There's stuff to mine, as always. Or Magros Carapace, Makalite Ore. I think that's new. I don't think we've seen that before. I think last time we were here, Dragonite Ore was the new big thing. Now, now! Ah, uh, yes, the rigged stalactites. I am so unbelievably awful at actually shooting those down. They do crazy good damage if you can hit them. We're also kind of down in the wrong area for that. Oh! Oh, the cores are in turbo mode. This is bad. Ooh. All right. All right. At least we seem to be doing pretty good damage here. Oh yeah, reloading. Forgot that I have to do that. Can I stake it. Maybe. Nope, swing and a miss. No, we got it. Haha. You're staked. Let's be not on fire. Let's sharpen. Um... Oh, yeah, and I don't have my cat here to help out. Oh, okay, good. We blocked it. Boy, positioning with this thing is tough. Lock the fire. Just gonna keep not staking it because I forget to do like an actual full reload. Yep, okay. Here comes like the scary part. There we go. Never mind, we're fine. The third magma core is gonna be rough, maybe. Um doing that thing again. Watch the magma, it's changing. The supercharged now it's time to restrain it. Shush! I'm trying to talk. I don't care. Don't care. Um yeah, the uh The, when, it, when they shout out, like, oh no, it's storing up energy, that's when it gets kind of scary, because that's when the lava cores just, like, go crazy. Scary is, you know, insofar as anything in this fight approaches scary. Nergigante is probably the scariest thing that happens here. Nergigante is still a terrifying, terrifying monster. Uh, um, I guess we'll go up here and destroy this rock. Before we go get that other lava or yeah, magma core. All right. 
No, don't stake. Dang it. All right, it's going to be shot with the binders. It's going to rear up. Now, fire! As it does. Oh, not yet. Nergigante first. What? Wait! Stand up already! Nergigante is upon us! Yeah, same pattern as when we were here last time. Of course it is. Hunters, prepare to intercept! Nergigante, up there on the shelf! Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, Nergigante. You can. We could go dance with Nergigante. Go have a fun little bit of combat. Is this legit? I don't know if it's going to hit Zora Magdros. Did we do damage here? I don't know if we did or not. I think we did. This one will certainly. Oh, I wanted that to land on Nergigante. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to deal with Nergigante right now, though. Go! Walk the lava, please. Thank you. And then we'll do one of these. Now is when Zora Magros is going to rear up. This is where things get a little problematic for us. Right. Hunters, stay focused. You have to drive off Nergigante. Zora Magros is yeah, this gets a little obnoxious. That's okay. Um, we could be outside. We could go out front. We could be attacking Zora Magros's nose. We could be... Can I even hit that from here? How do I do like the aim up shoot? I know there's a way to do that. Alright, well, we'll head out of here in just a second. May as well do some mining. I hear Nergikante. I hear you roaring up a storm. Uh, the, uh, the other hunter. The super badass one from the fleet with the crazy katana. Let's see, the hunt master. Something like that. I forget his name. He is up here fighting Nergigante for us, as are the other A-listers from our fleet. I believe they're up here fighting Nergigante right now. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I'm, I'm heading there. I'm working on it. I'm trying real hard to get up here. I want to participate. Where are you at, Nergigante? Ooh, mining! Never mind. You're over there. What is over here, then? Anything? Zora Magdros' big tentacle face? I think we took a wrong turn somewhere. Boy, do I wish there were wedge beetles or something here. Oh, seriously, we came all this way? Uh, Alright, this will put us up on top of uh, Zora Magdros' head. Um, if we don't have to fight Nergigante, we could have gotten... Oh gosh. Okay, never mind, we're fine. I thought that falling rock was going to hit us. Uh, we could have maybe like got a scale or something, like knocked some bits off of it. Hello, Zora Magdros and your big ugly head. Huh? Can I grab this mining node out here? Zora Magdros is getting back on all fours. Oh, oh dang it. <laughs> Watch yourself. Game. All right, it, it's fine. We still got to go get that magma core. And we're really running out of time. All right. Prepare to intercept at the barrier. Hunters, destroy the magma cores. We need to keep weakening the target. Does this not count as part of the monster, so we didn't actually get the, um, the stake to stick? Alright. 
it's back down, so we can go try for this magma core again. I don't know if we have enough time to get this. I don't know if we have enough time to get this. We're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully a couple of shots with our sweet, sweet gun lance. This is all just lava. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is what we wanted. Gosh darn it. One, two, three. Put down the health booster. We're gonna do our supercharge. Oh. Stake it, please. Break it. Break. Break the magma core. I'm trying. We're actually out of time for this. This is unfortunate. No, we didn't get the last magma core. No. It's okay. And now we're doing this again. Hold nothing back. Happy, I wish you would have loaded some of these cannons for me. You know, that would have been very helpful. Okay. I mean, if you want to shoot the Barnaces, that's also pretty helpful. So a couple of casual goals here. We want to just break as many parts as we can on Zora Magdaros. There's only, like, two things we can really actually break. Oh, are you going to do it? <gasps> You're going to do it. Oh, who's a good kitty? Oh, Fire the cannon. Hit him in the beard. Break his big scaly beard face. There we go. And we did it. Crunched its little beard off. You blowing a horn happy? What are you doing? What is that? Oh, in retrospect, bringing you with the flash fly cage was not helpful. I'm so, so bad about changing what my cat has equipped. Like in between missions or for certain missions. Okay. Doing a good chunk of damage. We have a one-shot binder, so we can kind of pin it in place. You know, as you do. Um, I'd like to push the can a little bit. I don't know if that was going to hit. This should be fine, though. I really want to break that nose of yours again. That's always a fun thing for me to aim for with these ballistas. I will just bind you, though. That's also good. Sadly, there's not really much else for me to shoot. Uh -huh. We will grab some of this. The Dragonator is here. It exists. It's a real thing. We can go use it and stab Zora Magdaros with, like, a sweet, sweet Dragonator. It's real good. It does a lot of damage. We only get one All use right. of it. Oh, we're out of cannonballs. That sucks. We were just told it's time for the Dragonator. We can do it whenever. We don't have to do it now, but probably want to do it. So will you stop swinging your nose around? I want to shoot that. Give it everything you've got. It's fine. We're probably not going to get to break the nose. That's okay. That's okay. Um, I will grab a little more ballista ammo. I am going to keep going for that nose. Bring your nose back down here. Bring your nose back down here. Stupid Barnos, get out of the way. Keep blocking my shots. His nose is just right there. Ugh. I blame the Barnos. Okay. You got a cannon. I will fire your cannon. I'm glad the NPCs will load the cannons for you. I wish that they would also, like, you know, shoot the cannons. There's a whole bunch of people down here with cannons. There's like three of them or something. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. Dragonator. Here we go. Big old switch. Yes, switch. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You ready? Here we go. Oh, that's 2,400 damage. Hey, partner. And we knocked it back a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, we'll bind you. How's everybody doing down here with all your cannons? Yeah, you got some cannons? Okay. I would like to maybe push the angle a little bit. We'll come back and revisit that here in a second while you're reloading. And the NPCs, when they're loading cannons, I think I mentioned this in our first Zora Magdaros fight, they get infinite cannonballs. So even if I take all the cannonballs and there are no more here, the NPCs will still be able to magically conjure some. So, you know, that's nice. I don't even know if we can get a shot on your face from down here. You shooting? Or are you stocking up? You got a few. That's okay. okay. And we'll probably be back. We'll probably be back to shoot those cannons. We gotta go up above and shoot a couple of cannons up here. It's a little bit trickier when you're just doing this by yourself, you know? It's still not really... Difficult, I don't think. I don't know. I'm maybe going to end up eating those words, so I should be careful what I say here. Okay. I think it's a really fun fight, though. Oh gosh, this is going to hurt. I don't want to be here. Oh, okay. Yep. Fine. Little, little old Zora Magdaros indigestion there. Just coughing some stuff up. Don't worry about it. Try not to think about it too much. Uh, ballista ammo stuff is respawned. That's super good. That's super, super, super good. Please don't destroy my ballista. I want to use it to shoot you. Commander, this is it. The chance we've been waiting for. All right. This is the last phase. Oh, here we go. Where's my Dragonator? Ready when you are. Doing it again? Good. Fire! Yes! Dragonate the hell out of that thing! Grandfather? Hmm. So, ready to go home? <laughs> yes! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Ooh, who are you? Who are you? What was that all about? Look at that, we did it. Oh my gosh, we got a gem on our first try. Holy moly, that's so amazingly good. Magma, pleuras, carapaces, a commendation, a large monster bone. I think that Zora Magdaros would have like a monster bone plus or something at least. Yay, look at that, a full four stars of research. Death begets life. We have successfully guided Zora Magdaros. New safari locations are available. You can now change your armor pigments. Ooh, most important aspect of the game. Uh, all of our armor can be upgraded now. As in, we can just 
everything can have a little more defense to match the new tier of equipment that we just unlocked. That's what that means. That's what that means. Oh, that's so exciting. Hey, where are you? Look at that. Even our... How exciting. Oh, we got people to talk to. Probably people just, you know, going to congratulate us on the amazing job that we just did. Ooh, this is actually real important. It's the captain of the boat. Here we go! Fiverr, I have good news. Listen to this. In the course of that last operation, the commissions gained possession of a mighty good ship. With her and my 40 years experience with the local waves and weather, the sea shall no longer thwart our efforts. Therefore, I've decided it's best to maintain a regular route between here and the old world. The goal being, of course, to improve our supply of provisions and how often we get them. There's nothing to it. Me and my new beauty set sail. Our friends back home load her up with goodies and back we come. Easy, right? So, I have a tasty proposition for you. If it's all well and good with you, I can share some of my cargo. Perfect, perfect. Here's what he has his hands on. <gasps> We're going to take a gander. It's going to be great. It pops in randomly. It stays for three quests. It leaves, pops back randomly. It has some random stuff on it. It's super good. Um, we spend our points, our guild points, our hunter points. Um, we can, right now, it just has... Um, like three tracks, three bundles of just whatever. Uh, we can look at what's in them. A light crystal. That's not bad. A demon drug. That's very nice. Although we're going to be making just boatloads of those. Pun not intended. Sorry, Argosy. Um, burn a stone. <laughs> burn is a city in another Monster Hunter game. So, you know, a reference to those, which is lovely. But uh, that's just a thing that we can sell. So we can spend points to acquire it and then just sell it for money. Um, you can't even craft with it. It has no other purpose. A net, warm pelts, Makalet or Kelby horn. That's very nice. Pitfall trap. All of that for 462 points. Heck yes, we are going to buy that. Baroth scalp. Yeah, you can get monster parts. Um, there's like the Kelby horn and stuff up there. But here's an actual Baroth scalp. Part of a Baroth. That's pretty cool. Some dung pods. A frost sack. Ooh can make like a legiana weapon i might i think i need another frost sack i think i'm one short of making like a frost weapon of some sort maybe i could just be completely making that up sushi fish scale rathian webbing sharp claw wet fish fin three trank bombs Ooh, yes please yes please yes please bear off shell lock lack or lock lack is another monster hunter uh former monster hunter city um, all of these trade-in items, they're all items from other cities from previous Monster Hunter games, and they're, they're just all trade-in items. This is worth 1,500 zenny. Like, that's a lot. That's a good chunk of cash. So we'll do that. Um, we can specify what he brings. So I'm generally after trade-in items and trade-in items and, I don't know, consumables or, you know, whatever. Materials could be nice, something... We could just leave it with anything. It's just random stuff. Sometimes it could be great, sometimes not. Who knows? Uh, we'll do this. Trading items would be nice until we build up like a good stock of money and then we don't have to worry about it for a while. Because I want to buy the um, armor charm and the power charm. I still haven't purchased those. They're a bit expensive, but we're going to do that. As soon as I can afford to buy both of them. It's not a huge issue. It's actually a huge issue. <laughs> we want that very, very soon because we're going to need it here in a moment. What's All right, wrong? Commander, what's going on? What's wrong? You tired of resting? I've been putting together our final report on the Elder Crossing. There's so many damn pages. I feel like my arms will fall off. Anyway, you'll have to bear with me while I prepare it for submission. It might take some time. Once I'm done, we can talk about the future of the commission. We might end up disbanding and returning home to the old world. We shall see. But if you have any unfinished business here, I suggest you take care of it. Okay, alright, yeah, you know what? You've been a good little tadpole pig thing. I will pet you. Oh, you're so happy. Oh, you're so happy. Look how happy you are. Um, Did I ever get this? If we just put you right here. I don't think we got this. It's not the Huntsman, it's the Banner. It should be the Huntsman, though. Um, oh yeah, that White Banner, that's the Fifth Fleet, right? That's us? That's me? Yay! Apprentice Fiverr! Uh, we'll look at it. We're not going to change what you've got on. 
Although everything that we have is quite ridiculous. The white jammies. You're like a strawberry almost. Or a mushroom from Mario. Like a toad or something. Um, yeah, you can be an apprentice fiver. That's pretty cool. I like it. I dig it. It's neat. We're going to stick with Hog and a Frog, though, because I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I think that's the best. Um, the blacksmith wants to talk to us. Uh, we've got, like, botany to deal with. We get to go talk to the ecologists and tell them that we learned all about Zora Magdaros. We've got so many things to do. Let's visit the workshop real quick, though. We'll just do this first and get it over with. Oh, it's the armor. It's so quiet now, you'd never know we had any trouble. But it's times like these, we have to be especially vigilant. You know what they say about the calm before the storm? Well, better safe than sorry, right? That's why you should take a look at my new products and prepare yourself for anything. So, care to have a look? No. So you just sell, like, slightly better, really awful armor. It's still really offer. Awful. Really offer? Huh. You're offering to sell it to me. It's it's bad. It's real bad. But, you know, whatever. All right, handler. <laughs> ah, this is the life. No more pressing investigations. No more monstrous menaces. I can get used to the peace and quiet. No, you can't. No, you can't. Don't lie. Although there is one thing weighing on me. Did you hear about that member of the fourth who got injured while out investigating some suspicious tracks? There's also Puke Puke sighting in the Wildspire Waste. That is not its natural habitat. Yeah, it's usually in the ancient forest. Hey, what do you make of it? Maybe it's time we came out of semi-retirement and went on an expedition. Gotta stay in shape, you know. The tracks were in the Wildspire Waste. What do you say? You want to go have a look? I do? We're going to do that not right now, though. But we just need to go on an expedition out there. Um, I think I would like to see if we can make some cool new weapons and armor, which we can. <laughs> All that rush work preparing for the Zora operation sure did take its toll on these old bones. All right, what are we doing? Well, if we look at armor. Oh, we don't have it yet. We'll have it after the Puke Puke hunt. Oh, yeah, we never actually looked at the, like, the Diablos armor. Look at that. Oh, it's so spiky. It's pretty good. Rathalos is also pretty cool. Also quite spiky. Different spikes. Subtler spikes. There's nothing subtle about those shoulder pads there. <laughs> um, can we upgrade... Yeah, here we go. So the dragon bone tree for weapons. Just what it sounds like. Dragon elements. It's, you know, monster bones and, and whatnot. There's now a Zora Magdaros weapon that we can upgrade to. The Magda Lahat. Lahat? It's pretty cool looking, actually. I think it's really cool looking. I think it's really neat. I like the look of the Zora Magdaros weapons. I think they're all really, really, really cool. Um, but interestingly, they are blast weapons. So high attack power, negative affinity, which means negative uh, 10% means I have a 10% chance of doing like a... a a weaker hit, a hit that is less damage than usual, so the opposite of a crit, a negative crit, hence the negative 10%. Um, but they do blast damage, and I don't know if we've talked about blast damage. It's a status ailment, kind of like sleep or paralysis or, you know, whatever. Um, it's, as you hit monsters, it, like, builds up a hidden, like, blast meter. Think like bleeding in Dark Souls, if you don't mind the reference, and if you're familiar with Dark Souls. There's a bar, you're filling it up. As soon as that bar gets full, it's hidden, we don't get to see it, but as soon as it fills up, then whatever you hit explodes with the blast and does just a hefty chunk of damage regardless of um, part vulnerability or resistance or anything like that. So like, Diablo's horns, for example, are very hard to hit. Normally, if you hit them with a weapon, you're going to bounce your weapon off and you're not going to do a lot of damage. They're they're just not super weak. Um, blast doesn't care. It just does. It's like shelling with the gun lance. It just does the same amount of damage, and that amount of damage is a lot. Also, 20 defense just for free for having the Zora Magdaros weapon. Not bad. Not bad. Um, we probably have enough to make a Zora Magdaros whatever I want. If one existed. Wow, there's no Zora Magdaros. 
Is it somewhere else? Is it some other tree? There's no Zora Magdaros uh, glaive? Huh, I had no idea. I know what... Yeah, I know exactly what this weapon is. It's going to be fun. <laughs> um, interesting. There's other blast weapons that are non-Zora Magdaros. Here we go. There's a Zora Magdaros katana, a longsword. Although it looks more like a cleaver down there at the tip. At least the sheath does. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, I still haven't decided what weapon we're going to go with in the long run when we get into high mode. And we don't really have to deal with that just yet, but we are going to have to deal with it after we check out the wild Puke Puke that's in the wrong area. And we're going to do that next time. So thanks for watching, everyone. May the Sapphire Star light your way.